A lot of it goes into purchasing a violin. If it's a small child, renting would be the best option. Yeah. And a lot of stores do offer rental credit towards the purchase of violin, so oh. I think that's very helpful. But um, if you're going on a professional route or, mm. you know, taking it serious, as we say, um, you know, you want to see what your budget is and then going into a violin shop looking for how it looks like, how it sounds like, mm. and then trying it out with a bow, what the bow feels like, how heavy it is, mm. how, how it sounds, and all those things. It's like purchasing a car. When you're small, you usually get the tiny violins. Yeah. Um, and then as you're growing, you do go from quarter size to half size to three quarters to a full size. Mm. I think it's best to purchase a violin when you're at your full size. Right. Because then you don't have to keep, keep uh, buying, buying one. Mm -hmm. And also it's um, all on personal preference.